I like to think of cinema as public dreaming, where we go into dark spaces, we're strangers, and we share public dreams. The, the world is both mysterious and apparently chaotic. And the, as, as Alethea says in the story, we have to make meaning of that. And the other thing is, is there's a lot that's unknown depend, depending on where we are in time. And as Alethea says, stories are the way we make meaning. So this story is about how this particular character, someone who studies stories, and the Jin she encounters, how because of the essential conflict they have between them. One needs a wish, uh, three wishes, and the other is reluctant to wish because she knows that it never goes well. They have to tell each other stories and eventually they make some sort of resolution. Instead of being caught up in other people's stories, she becomes a character in her own story. She actually, at the end, keeps a journal called 3,000 Years of Longing. So she knows that to to be in life, you must participate in your own story actively. And I think she finds meaning through that. I mean, and I think that's what we all do in our lives, one way or another, with, with our families, your own personal stories and so on. And I hope that, I hope that comes through, through the story. Yeah. Well, I was very fortunate to have those two as actors because they're very, what I like to call filmmaking actors. They're there to get the film made. They're there to do whatever it takes for the collective collaboration to work. They have a very, very, very strong uh, intelligence and wisdom about the process of making films. They came up with ideas that, or strategies that were, in retrospect, um, if we didn't do them, the film would be a lot weaker. It wasn't just for their characters, it was for overall helping the whole thing. That's what I mean by filmmaking actors, actors who, who are there to get the film made. Well, I'm, uh, part of me is nervous because this is the first audience in the world that's going to see it. And it's that cinema, you know, with 2,500 people, with perfect sound, perfect image here it can and that's very exciting i like to think of cinema as public dreaming we where we go into dark spaces with uh with strangers and we share public dreams which have the same function as dreams to somehow process or make meaning of of things that seem to be as i said before chaotic in the world so i just feel very very fortunate that we're doing this tonight so we'll see how it goes, yeah.